प्रिपेयर होता है मैंने पार्ट ए पार्ट बी पार्ट सी के हिसाब से मैंने वो पॉइंट्स यहाँ पे डाले और किस किस फॉर्म में वो रिलेवेंट होंगे इन्फॉर्मेशन मैंने वो सारी चीजें यहाँ पे इनकॉर्पोरेट करी है राइट सर दिस इज हाउ आई कैन मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड ऑन दिस फर्स्ट सबसे पहला इन्फॉर्मेशन सर जनरल इन्फॉर्मेशन होता है राइट right? अब उसमें हम देखते हैं विथ रिस रिलेवेंट ये जो चेंजेस है दिस इज एक्चुअली एप्लीकेबल फॉर आई टी आर वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव राइट सर जो बोलता है विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू दी डिटेल ऑफ द न्यू टैक्स रिजीम अंडर सेक्शन वन फिफ्टीन बी ए सी फॉलोइंग चेंजेस है क्या क्या चेंज सर इस बार डिफॉल्ट रिजीम कौन सा रिजीम होगा न्यू रिजीम वुड बी दी डिफॉल्ट रिजीम द क्वेश्चन वेदर द टैक्स पेयर विशेज टू एक्सरसाइज The option under section X one one five B A C six, opting out of the new tax regime has been added. The answer to the same has set to default no. If opting out of the new regime, then select yes. Whether the answer is selected as yes, taxpayer filing ITR three four five three four and five need to exercise the option in form ten I E A. Form ten I E A needs to be furnished on or before the due date of filing the return. सर ये पहला मेजर चेंज आया कि दी फर्स्ट चेंज द न्यू रिजीम द डिफॉल्ट रिजीम इज न्यू रिजीम राइट सर नाउ कमिंग टू दी न्यू पॉइंट की चेंजेस पार्ट ए फाइलिंग स्टेटस देखते हैं क्या बोल रहे हैं एप्लीकेबल ड्यू डेट फाइल रिटर्न ऑफ इनकम थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ जुलाई थर्टी फर्स्ट अक्टूबर और थर्टी एथ नवंबर रिक्वायर टू बी सिलेक्टेड अब वो डेट भी हमें सिलेक्ट करना है रिलेवेंट फॉर आई टी आर थ्री फाइव एंड सिक्स The legal entity identifier required mandatory if refund is refund is I N R five hundred million or more L E I number and date up to which valid that has to be filled into the form relevant for I T R two three five and six where taxpayer is recognized as M S M E right? अगर taxpayer recognized M S M E है और अगर आप वहाँ पे if yes select करते हैं then registration number allotted as per the micro small and the medium enterprises required to be provided ye ek naya change aaya hai sir theek hai this is relevant for 5 and 6 mentioned here now ab audit information mein bhi kuch changes aaye wo dekhte hain kya hai where the taxpayer is liable for audit under section 44 ab The condition by virtue of which he is liable for audit need to be specified. Sales turnover, gross receipts exceeds the limit specified under Section forty four A B. Taxpayer falling under Section forty four A D, A D A, forty four A E, forty four double B, but not offering income on the presumptive basis. Taxpayer falling under Section forty four double B and forty four triple B. But not offering income on presumptive basis only in case of the ITR six and others has to be selected. Relevant for three, five, and six. Additional detail in respect of tax audit report. Additional detail in respect of tax audit report required whether the taxpayer is liable for the audit and the account have been audited by an accountant. मतलब इन्होंने क्या बोला ये दो नई चीजें ऐड हुई हैं. Acknowledgement number of the audit report, right, sir? This has to be submitted, and the unique document identification number, जो पहले भी जा रहा था, अभी उन्होंने इसको mandatory कर दिया कि भाई tax audit का आपको acknowledgement number भी आप furnish करना है and UDIN भी furnish करना है. This is very important. Other information में देखिए क्या देना है. Following to be reported under Amount disallowed under Section forty three B in any preceding financial year forty three B की बात कर रहे हैं but allowable during the financial year and amount debited to profit and loss account for the financial year but disallowed under Section forty three B any sum payable to a micro or the small enterprises beyond the time limit specified under Section Fifteen of the MSME Act, two thousand six. This is relevant for three, five, and six. These are the major changes. Now, profit and loss account. Me, see what changes are. The part A, me, the profit and loss account. There, there is gross receipt for the computation of the presumptive income 
from business and profession under the section 44 AD and 44 ADA to be bifurcated as through account pay check or account pay bank draft and bank electronic clearing system received or prescribed electronic mode received before the specified date. UPI ki baat bhi kar rahe hai yaha pe. And receipts in cash is ki baat bhi kar rahe hai. On any mode other than one and two above is ki baat bhi ye kar rahe hai. Relevant for ITR 3 and ITR 4. This is the changes. Key changes may have discussed kar raha hai. Uske baat sir aage dekho. Kya bola hai nohne. Details of bank account. वो भी हमें डिस्कस करना है टाइप ऑफ बैंक अकाउंट ड्रॉप डाउन प्रोवाइडेड बाय फाइलिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड टू बी मेंशनड ये पहले भी आ रहा था रिलेवेंट फॉर आईटीआर 1 टू 6 सब में द ऑप्शन ऑफ चूजिंग द अकाउंट इन व्हिच टैक्स फेयर प्रेफर टू गेट द रिफंड हैज बीन रिमूव्ड मतलब क्या हुआ सर कि आपको जितने भी बैंक अकाउंट हैं दैट बैंक अकाउंट हैज टू बी Needs to be reported. This is relevant for the ITR 2, 3, 5 and 6. Another change. Ek said depreciation on plant and machinery ke upar bhi ek change in one specify kiya hai. That change is depreciation on plant and machinery other than assets on which full capital expenditure is allowable as deduction under any other provision of this act. Any other section ki baat kar rahe Written down value as on the first day of the financial year, sir. Written down value on the first day of the financial year is required to be increased by the amount of unabsorbed depreciation as per the second proviso to this particular section, which was not allowed to be adjusted. This, you know, 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 इन्होंने requirement of furnishing detail in relation to deduction from the capital gain under section 54 GB on investment of certain special eligible startups startups में कुछ इन्होंने करा है has been deleted relevant for the ITR 2 and ITR 3 following additional relating to the amount of deposit capital gain account scheme against the capital gain income required to be disclosed ये यहाँ पे देना required to be disclosed यहाँ disclose करना है क्या-क्या disclose करना है सर date of deposit account number IFC code पहले सर capital gain account scheme का कोई information नहीं जाता था now from this year onwards following additional detail relating to amount deposited in the capital gain account scheme needs to be disclosed in your income tax return that is ITR two three five and six date of deposit डालना है account number dalna hai ifc code dalna hai this is an important change which is required to be disclosed in our in, uh, income tax form income from other source may be ye changes hai any sum received including the amount allocated by way of bonus at any time during the financial year under a life insurance policy referred to in section 56 213 required to be reported ye important hai sir 215 c 56 213 may insurance policy referred in that particular section that needs to be reported which is relevant for the itr 2 and 3 further any specified sum received by unit holder from the business trust during the financial year as referred in section 56 212 required to be reported relevant for itr 2 3 5 and 6 Following to be reported under income chargeable at the special rates, income by wave, meaning from online games, chargeable under section 115 BJ, income by way of dividend received by a non resident not being a company or foreign company from a unit in an international financial services center IFSC as referred to in section 80 LAIA, chargeable under provision to section 115A1. Sub clause A, capital A, the above income are also required to be disclosed under information about accrual receipt of the income from the other source. This is relevant for ITI 2, 3, 5, and 6. Now, income chargeable to tax at the special rate, that is income by way of winning from online games under section 115 double BG separately needs to be disclosed. 
further deduction and taxable total income deduction under section 80c h in respect of contribution made to the agnipath in scheme agar kisi agnipath scheme mein agar koi contribution made needs to be disclosed under itr 1 2 3 and itr 4 these are the changes now 80 double d mein bhi ye change aaya hai dekhiye kya changes hain detail of deduction in respect of maintenance including medical treatment of a dependent person with disability new schedule 6 following additional detail that is nature of the disability type of dependent spouse son daughter father mother brother sister or member of the huf pan of the dependent aadhar of the dependent date of filing and acknowledgement number in form 10 ia and udid agar available hai to jo unique disability identity number bhi milta hai agar koi disabled person hai to 80 डबल डी में ये नई चीजें आ गई हैं जो पहले नहीं थी राइट नाउ एटी डबल जी सी डिटेल ऑफ द कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन मेड टू दोलिटिकल पार्टी उसमें भी कुछ चेंजेस आए हैं वो क्या चेंजेस आए हैं देखते हैं न्यू शेड्यूल रिक्वायर्स फॉलोइंग एडिशनल डिटेल्स इन रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन मेड टू दोलिटिकल पार्टी अंडर सेक्शन एट्टी डबल जी सी डेट अमाउंट ऑफ कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन विथ बाइफरकेशन इन केस एंड इन अदर मोड इलिजिबल अमाउंट ऑफ कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ट्रांजेक्शन रेफर्ड नंबर फॉर द यूपीआई ट्रांसफर और द चेक ये भी देना है ट्रांजेक्शन रेफरेंस नंबर भी आना है पॉलिटिकल पार्टी के केस में एंड आई एफ सी कोड ऑफ द बैंक दैट इज ऑल्सो नीड टू बी गिवन अगर देर इज ए कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन मेड टू दोलिटिकल पार्टी दिस इज रिलेवेंट फॉर आई टी आर टू थ्री फाइव एंड सिक्स दिस हैज टू बी डिस्कलोज इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट है ये एटी आई ए सी में भी चेंज आए एलिजिबल स्टार्टअप में क्या बोला इन्होंने New schedules requires following additional detail. क्या है डेट ऑफ इनकॉर्पोरेशन ऑफ स्टार्टअप दैट इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नेम ऑफ बिजनेस सर्टिफिकेट नंबर एज ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम इंटर मिनिस्ट्रियल बोर्ड ऑफ दर्टिफिकेशन जो डी पी आई आई टी सर्टिफिकेट रजिस्ट्रेशन बोलते हैं उसको जिसको स्टार्टअप रिकोगनाइजेशन सर्टिफिकेट बोला जाता है फर्स्ट असेसमेंट ईयर इन विच डिडक्शन वॉज क्लेम्ड एंड अमाउंट ऑफ डिडक्शन क्लेम फॉर द करंट असेसमेंट ईयर it needs to be disclosed under 80 iac 80 la deduction in respect of offshore banking unit or their ifc new schedules required following disclosure kya kya disclose karna hai yahan pe wo bhi dekhte hain hum type of entity type of income of the unit authority granting registration date of registration registration number ye sare important hai first assessment year which deduction is claimed an amount of deduction claimed for the current assessment year relevant for the itr 5 and itr 6 this is very important point tax deferred on employee esop following additional detail required in respect of tax deferred on perquisites referred to in section 1726 re received from employer being an eligible startup referred in section 80 iac kya kya lena hai wahan pe kya information dalna hai Pan of the employer being an eligible startup and DPIIT registration number of the employer. ये भी बहुत important point है क्योंकि तो भाई किसी को as a startup share हम दे रहे हैं तो क्या वो actually में startup है कि नहीं in order to determine that or ensure their startup status DP double IT registration certificate is mandatory to be submit. This is the change schedule of the change. New one one five. टी डी में अक्रीडेटेड इनकम की बात कर रही है न्यू शेड्यूल इंसर्टेड रिक्वायर्ड डिटेल्स इन रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ कंपटीशन ऑफ अक्रीडेटेड इनकम अंडर सेक्शन 115 टी डी एप्लीकेबल टू सर्टेन ट्रस्ट एंड इंस्टीट्यूशन दिस शेड्यूल आल्सो इंक्लूड्स डिटेल टू बी प्रोवाइडेड रिलेटेड टू टैक्स पेबल अंडर सेक्शन वन वन अलॉन्ग विद डिटेल्स ऑफ द डिपॉजिट ऑफ टैक्स अलॉन्ग विद एप्लीकेबल इंटरेस्ट this is an important changes which has been brought in this year computation of tax liability of the total income adjustment in respect of tax payable on income under section 115 td including interest under section 115 te to be made from net refund if any agar applicable hai to 5 and 6 ki baat hi kar rahe uske baad 80u mein fir wapas se purana wala jo 80 double d wala provision tha उसी एटी डबल डी वाले प्रोविजन को मैं कुछ पार्ट यहां पर डाला है इन्होंने 
new schedule inserted seeking following additional detail in respect of deduction under 80U. Ye part hai pa, nature of disability, date of filing of form 10IA, acknowledgement number of form 10IA filed and UDID number if available, ITR 3 may ye jayega. This is important. Verification of the ITR filed electronically. Abhi tak individual and HFK case mein, if the person who were required to be audited as per the Income Tax Act in that circumstances, individual or HUF for the tax audit under Section 44AB can now also verify their ITR through the electronic verification code. Matlab, ab wo Aadhaar OTP se apna tax audit return, tax audit file kar paayenge. Filing status part A, option ITR 5 mein ye ek naya dala hai. Nuna. Option has been inserted. Seeking details on which taxpayer is new manufacturing company, is a new manufacturing cooperative society, opting for taxing, taxation under Section 115BAE, if yes, then date of filing and acknowledgement number of Form 10IFA is required to be furnished. This is the total changes. This is the key changes that I was having with me to discuss with you. I hope the key changes were discussed. Now, since I am having few more 15-20 minutes, we can discuss few statutory provision of ITR that is very essential. Sir, any question on this? On two questions are already on the list, sir. Yes, sir. Please. Any anonymous attendee is asking, sir, if employee pen is inoperative and gross salary is not liable for TDS, whether twenty percent TDS will be applicable? Sir, when TDS required to be deposited first? When there is a tax in his income, as per section 139 or in section, 140, uh, section 4, where any person whose total income exceeds the maximum amount, which is not chargeable to tax. Right, sir? So, will it TDS or not? If someone has less than 5,000,000 or 7,000,000,000, in that case,